What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be making a little tutorial on how to edit templates. Like if you go on the internet and you go on YouTube and you download a free template um, and they're Sony Vegas, that I'm going to teach you how to go about editing them, how to extract them and how to edit, and how to find the part you need to edit and then how to go ahead and render it back up so you can have it on YouTube. All right, and this tutorial is made for um, one of my subscribers named Rich Gaming. Um, if you guys can look, this is his YouTube. It is uh, youtube.com slash rich gaming with the number one. And he has about 16, you know, going on 1,700 subscribers. So if you all want to go and subscribe to him and check him out, check out his content, that'll be awesome. So let's just go ahead and get started. So let's say you have, uh, let me go back, you have downloaded the RAR file or the zip file or whatnot and um, you know it, it, you can see the icon it shows right there because I don't have WinRAR installed um, but what I have is a program called 7-Zip and 7-Zip is a free program you can get on you can just go google it and it extracts ISO files, RAR files, um, zip files, any kind of file out there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna go down to 7-Zip and then I'm gonna go to extract to Call of Duty Ghost now uh, I'll just put yes, uh, no at all. I already have it all extracted and everything because I've already edited this template. So after that, you're going to go click on it. <clears throat> okay, next what you want to do is if there's a font, you can see the font, obviously, Rock's Death, Death, you're going to want to go ahead and install your font. So this is how you install a font. You go to your C drive, expand it, go down to Windows, expand it, and right here where the A is, you're going to see fonts. You're just going to take, click and hold on the font and just drag it drop it right on there see it's already installed I'll just go click it yes again and that's how it's already installed you know that's how it gets installed alright now let's say you know you have these footage right here that's in this particular template and you want to go ahead and change these footage um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make sure that basically it, to do it the easy way you're gonna have to make sure that these files are mp4s the ones that you're gonna import and uh, all you got to do is, like, say you want to replace this one, you just got to change the name of this one. Like, let's say, let's make it 1-1. One one. And then the new file, you just name it 1. So it's going to be 1.mp4, but they have to be mp4 files. And then you can just do that to all these. And then, bam, all your game footage will be changed inside. Now, the harder way to do it is to actually... Oh, that's another video I'm editing. I've already closed out the video. Uh, so the harder way to do it though is to actually go inside this file right here um, go inside the file and locate where these videos are okay and then what you're gonna do is just delete the video here and you're just gonna like say this is your zombie footage you're just gonna take it and drag it over to Sony Vegas and you're actually gonna just drop it right where you want it to go and you can move it um, you know you can lengthen it you know do whatever you need to do to it alright this is kind of an add-in by the way so let's get back to the video okay so now what you want to do is you see this right here Sony see that's a Sony Vegas file you're gonna go ahead and double click on that and you're gonna upload or it's gonna open into Sony Vegas okay so now here's Sony Vegas and what you need to do now is you need to find out where the text is well if you've watched a video that you're gonna edit and whatnot because it is a free template or if you're making your own and you're just using this for a personal reference um, you're gonna know exactly where it is in the um, the uh, you know in the video, but what you can do, um, for, I like to expand it first, so you can take the wheel of the uh, mouse and you can flick it up a little bit and see that expands it. Flicking it back shrinks it. If you don't have a mouse or if you're just using your little uh, touch mouse on your laptop, you can actually go right over, right over here and you hit the plus and expands. Minus it goes like that, and then the same thing for over here. See the plus expands that that way. Minus shrinks it. So, if, you know, you can shrink it pretty far. All right. Um, so you see offline mode. Um, you probably won't see that. But if, if it ever comes up where a box goes up in, like, missing media, you can just tell it to skip it, and you can go find out what it is and see if you actually need it. Um, I'm messing with an experimental, experimental version of Windows 7. It's Windows 7 Lite, and it had no core and um, – I can't even talk today. It has no core uh, components installed. So, therefore, a lot of things are missing. So – my Windows Media files or my Windows Player isn't on there, so it's uh, messing up everything. Anyway, so what you want to do first is you want to find where the text is. 
So you can actually scroll down. Um, and there's text blocks right there. You see how it says it popped up right here, Laurent? Okay, and there's another one right here, but you see how little the space is, so I'm going to go ahead and expand it out a little bit, move it over, that way I have a better working area. All right, now one way you can do it to edit this text, you can right click on the block and go to edit media, or edit generated media. And this version of Windows sucks because it's not loading everything. All right, that was awesome. Okay, well, another way to do it is you can hit this little box right here. It means the exact same thing. You just click on it. This pops up. I don't know why it worked this time and not the other time. I'm about to reinstall Windows. Um, you can highlight it. Um, now, it'll see how it says Rock's Death? Rock's Death? Man, I can't speak today. Um, it, it's already there for you. That's why you wanted to go ahead and, and pre-install it before you open it up and whatnot. So now you can just edit it. So she, you know, you can put a border around it, like you see. Hang on a minute. Ooh, that took a minute. Like you see how it is now. So maybe I just want to change it a little bit. Maybe I want to make it black. Uh, make my outline white. But make it really, really thick. Hmm. Wow, I don't know what happened just there. Okay. Yeah, it's it's being retarded right now. My computer's all jacked up. Anyway, you see what I mean. You can put an outline. You know, you can change your text. You know, do whatever you need to do. So now here's the next text block. So you're gonna just click here. It's gonna bring uh, the video over to right here. It's gonna load and see that's presents. So you can just hit the little media generator right here, and you can go ahead and edit that edit the font you know I uh, when I edited it I didn't make it present so I made it something else um, and then you can click right here and you can edit the ending font okay uh, wow that's crazy Pentium i5 all jacked up <laughs> anyway there we go go Centro so once you get done editing everything you're gonna go ahead and make the mouse trigger go down um, you know to shrink your project you're going to want to see the end of your project and what I always do is I'll click right here and hold it and then I'll expand it this the way I want it oh yeah and just just in case you see this terms of use that's little extra things you can just click on one and hit delete and then click on the other one hit delete that way they're not in your video okay and then I can actually click and hold right here well I can just click this and bring this region over see how the glows blue that means it's the end of the video okay and that way if you're messing with another project over here if you got clips cut and you have them over here and stuff like that you know you can just leave them over there and just do the little loop region only alright so after that's all done you get everything edited you're gonna go up here to file render as and this is how you're gonna convert your video for YouTube so what I'd like to do is go down to Sony AVC or it's mp4 and then I go to internet and you have 720 or 1080. What I do if I'm making an intro, I always render it out in 1080. That way, even if you, you know, no matter if you're using 720 on your like capture card or something like that, you can uh, and it's you're making it only capture in 720. You can always shrink your your intro down. It, but if you make your intro at 720 and your capture cards at 1080, you know, once you expand your intro, you're actually going to lose quality and it's going to be a little blurry. So that's just a little tip. All right, so right here, the folder you can hit browse and that's going to tell it where it's going to save to where it's going to render out to after you do that you just hit render let it go and it'll be done a little box will come up right here and it'll be like do you want to open or do you want to open um, file location I always hit the file location you know just to get another window popped up so I can uh, move it if I want to and that's about it so uh, Rich Gaming I hope this helped you I hope this helps anyone else watching and like I said this is a shout out to Rich Gaming so go check his YouTube out Rich Gaming 1 at YouTube Squishy banana out. Moving like the speed of sound. Feet can keep on the ground. Can't stay in one place.